Ah, that'll make no sense. I'm confused. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! What is that? Okay, these are sad eyebrows. Mm. Honest. <laughs>all welcome to today's video today we are going to talk about honest beauty i've had some questions about any organic or all natural makeup that i've tried because some people are allergic and they can't wear just any makeup brand so this one is for y'all who still want to look pretty but you want your skin to also be getting things that are good for it if you don't know what honest beauty is it's a makeup brand that kind of stems off of the honest company brand which makes like diapers and all natural baby supplies, cleaning supplies. Jessica Alba created the brand. It's just supposed to be a good for you brand that's good for your skin. You know what ingredients are in it and nothing that's harmful or harsh. So I just got all my stuff in the mail. Today we're gonna do a full look using Only Honest. We're gonna test it out, see what we like, see if there's anything we don't like. So. Let's get started and see what this brand is all about. Okay, first up is something that I have tried before. This is the Honest Beauty Elevated Hydration Mist. You can use it under or over your makeup and you just spray it on your face for a quick hydration and refresher. I will say it's very refreshing, feels good. I like it, smells nice, it's not too strong, but just has kind of a, almost like a vitamin C, orangey, citrusy type. Very light scent. So, it's very refreshing. So far, so good. Up next, we've got the Honest Beauty Vitamin C Radiance Serum. And it's got artichoke and clover extracts. Supposedly, it brightens your skin, boosts radiance, just makes you have a healthy glow. I have also tried this. I like this. The only problem I had is when I got it, this little clicking thing, you click it and it comes out and then you turn it and it goes back in. Well, when I first got this, I sat here for like two days going. Nothing. Opened it up. Opened it up and lo and behold, whatever is supposed to be connected here to pump up the product didn't get put in mine. So I have, I guess, no straw or whatever it is that makes it come out. But as you can see, I have used a lot of this. I do like it. I just wish my pump would have worked. So how I have to use mine is I have to take this lid off and whoo. I just put a little bit in my hand. That's actually too much. Whoa. Okay, you only need a little bit. And then we're just gonna put some on the face. And again, that feels very good. Moving on. Next, this is a new item. As you can tell, all of the things I haven't tried are gonna be in packaging because I haven't even opened them yet. So this is my first time seeing them with y'all. So this is the Everything Primer. Made without parabens, PEGs, paraffins, styrathin, petrolatum, mineral oil, synthetic fragrances. So basically, it's good for you. It doesn't have bad things in it. So, let's open this up. I'm going to need some scissors. They're all, like, sealed with these little stickers. I'm not about to sit here and pick at all these. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It does look like it has some color to it. Okay, it's a cute little package. It's got a little squeezy. I feel like it needs to be shook up. It's looking a little watery. So we're just gonna squeeze a little bit. Okay, so it's kind of got a sheen, like a shimmer to it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it has kind of like a pearly look. Okay, not really a fan of the smell. Um, what is that? Yeah, it doesn't smell good. It does make the skin feel very hydrated, fresh. Not seeing much coverage as far as the color. I think it's mainly meant just to kind of smooth out the skin a little bit. Yeah, that smell. Mm. 
It's almost like a burnt chemical, like burnt oranges. Moving on. Next, we're going to go in with the CC Clean Corrective with Vitamin C. So this is a CC cream, tinted moisturizer. Mine is in the shade Light. They didn't have a liquid foundation. The closest thing I could find to a liquid foundation was this. They do have these, which we'll get into in a minute. But these are cream foundations, which I've never used a cream foundation, so I'm curious about that. But we're going to start by trying out this. Okay, so I've got my wet makeup sponge, and this is neat. It's got like a little pump on it, which is pretty nice. Hopefully my pump works. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with two pumps. Okay, it doesn't really have a smell. Um, this is the light shade, and for it to be a tinted moisturizer, it looks like it's got actually very full coverage. So you'd think typically with a tinted moisturizer, it's not very much coverage, but this is actually looking more like a foundation to me. I'm seeing a little bit of like a red spot over here. I'm not really sure what that is going on, but. We're going to go next. I did grab this cream foundation in two shades. I got a shade for my face and then I got a shade that's lighter for the concealer because they did not have a concealer. I'm not sure why they don't have concealer. Maybe they're just kind of more into a natural look and they think you can just use foundation, but they didn't have a concealer, so I thought I'll just use a foundation in a lighter color and see if that works. The tinted moisturizer did such a good job. I don't really want to cake on more foundation. Like it really seemed to have pretty good coverage. So I'm not going to bother with doing more foundation, but we're still going to test it out because we're going to use the lighter color. So this says buildable coverage, a velvety finish and seamless blendability. This is the color snow. Okay. This is so cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's magnetic. And it's got a little mirror. It says you can just use a makeup sponge. Oh, well looky here. This flips up and it's got this little like spongy applicator, which I've never really been a fan of these things, so. But I guess you could take it on the go with you if you want and touch up. Wow, this is such a strange texture. It's getting a little clumpy. So, I don't know. I've got some on my sponge, so we're going to try it out. Okay. I'm a little disappointed with this cream foundation. For starters, it's getting like clumps in the pan. I don't know if y'all can see this. I don't know. It's a very odd texture. Aside from that, I don't know if you can see, but I have got like patches on my nose. I don't know. What do y'all think? Has, have any of you tried this cream foundation? If you have, let me know if you liked it. If you did something different, maybe it worked better for you. I'm just not a fan. I would really stick to the tinted moisturizer. Um, I feel like that worked really good and it was just kind of a natural pretty finish. Next, we're going to go in with the Invisible Blurring Loose Powder and this is in the shade Translucent. Can we just pause for a minute and recognize how cute the packaging is? Like, I love this. I am loving this peachy color. Very cute packaging. This is what it looks like. Oh, okay. So we've got a little flap. You can kind of see what it looks like. So, okay, we're doing the mesh thing. It's one of those little mesh bouncy things in there. If you didn't watch my review of the Unique products, they have one similar to this that had this little mesh thing in it, and I actually cut it out because I wanted to be able to get in there real good. So we'll see how well this one works. I'm not going to cut it out yet. 
it seems actually to be dispensing the product pretty good. So I'm going to go in with this translucent powder. Okay, translucent powder. It seemed to actually help out that foundation a lot. Like it kind of fixed the patchiness. I still have a spot here that for some reason, it looks like it's just not covering by anything. And normally I'm not red. Maybe these lights are just like oh, hot. Okay, I like this. Very good. I am a fan of the powder. Huh. Silky. So typically my next step would be bronzer. I contour with bronzer. So they had these two things which are called luminizing glow powder. Okay, on the website, they were called highlighters, basically. And there was two shades. There was Midnight Reflection and Dusk Reflection, which is a darker shade. So I was like, why does that highlighter look like a bronzer? But it's called a highlighter. Then I kind of did some research and some people were saying that it actually is a bronzer, but it's just a luminous bronzer. And so basically this is like the highlighting shade. This is like the bronzer shade, but they're both luminous. So I got both because I want to see what in the world it's all about. What's going on? Because they didn't have a bronzer. So maybe this is their bronzer. I don't know. If it is, I think they should call it a bronzer because it's confusing people. So let's see what, what's going on. I'm going to open the darker shade up first, which is the Dusk reflection okay see and like on the packaging it says use a fluffy brush to apply face powder and sweeping strokes to cheekbones down the bridge of nose and over the decollete so that would be a highlighter let's just find out okay so it's got this little button you press yeah that definitely is a bronzer like bronzer. I'm going to swatch it on my finger. Okay, yeah, that looks like a bronzer to me. And then the lighter shade, which is called Midnight Reflection. And that's another thing. Why? Okay, Dusk is light. Or, no. Dusk Reflection is dark. Midnight Reflection is light. Midnight is light? That don't make no sense. I'm confused. I'm confused. So midnight, midnight, dusk. Didn't know midnight was light. And dusk, like what is dusk? Dusk till dawn. Dusk. So dawn is the morning, dusk is the nighttime. Anyways, these are the shades. This definitely looks like a bronzer. This definitely looks more like a highlight. Let's go in with Dawn. No, Dusk. <laughs> dusk. Hmm, this is pretty. Okay, I am liking this color. Okay, bronzer. Yes, I am loving the bronzer. Or highlighter. So it's a subtle and it's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and contour the nose with that same bronzer. Okay, I like that. It's very subtle. That is a very pretty bronzer, like, or highlighter, whatever they wanna call it. It's pretty and I like it as a bronzer. So good job on that one. So next I typically do blush. So I got this one. This is called the Lit Powder Blush. It's in the shade Flirty. This is such a cute little package. <laughs> if I can open it. Okay. Look, I love this little clear lid. Like, this is cute. Um, it has a little bit of a reflective, like, shimmer. Okay, so it's very subtle. And see, when you look at this, you would think, like, Whoa, that's bright blush, but no, not really. I like the blush. Next, we're going to do brows. So this is the Honest Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. Simple enough. And I got the shade brown. Okay, simple and sweet. I like it. 
Does anyone else get satisfaction when they can peel that whole thing in one strip? Oh, just makes me so happy. So it looks like it's got a little spoolie on one end and the other end is a pencil. Now my preference is a little bit smaller and more precise pencil than this, but we will try it and see. Okay. It's a little more waxy than I like. It's so creamy, like waxy, it almost creates like a sheen. And the color is, I think, a little off. Like it looks almost grayish on my eyebrows, like a grayish brown. I'm gonna use this other end, try to blend that product a little bit. Maybe it'll help. Oh no, no, no. Okay, that just like removed everything. It's so creamy, it's almost like it won't stick to my skin, if that makes any sense. Like, it just smears around. I like more of a powdery, I guess, brow product, because then it stays. Like, do you see this? It just wiped all that away. Not crazy about the brow product. I can't get this spot to cover up, like. I don't know what to do about that. The more I rub, the more it like removes the product. Sad eyebrows. These are sad eyebrows. It's just getting worse the more I mess with it. So I'm just gonna have to leave it alone. There might be a color in the eyeshadow palette that I can use to fill it in. So we might have to do that. There's so many different kinds of eyebrows out there. So this might work really good for you, but personally just for me and my brows, I'm just not a fan. Next, we are gonna jump into the brow palette. So this is the brow palette, not the brow palette, the eyeshadow palette. I got these terrible brows on my mind. Oof, it bothers me. OCD. <sighs> this is the eyeshadow palette. So it's got 10 eyeshadows in it. Packaging is just so cute. It's got a mirror in it. And these are the colors. Okay, just very neutral. So I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E40 and I'm gonna go into soft bronze. And we're gonna dust that in the crease. Okay, it's very pigmented. Okay. All right, before we go on, I'm gonna take my small angled brush E65 from Sigma. I think I'm gonna go into that same kind of light brown color, and try to fix these brows a little bit. Mm. Or not. Okay, I've just, I've got sad brows today. That's just what it is. Sad brows. They're like so waxy now. It's like nothing is working. It's just like, Ugh, I don't even know. Next, I'm gonna go into this really pretty bronzy color because I just feel like I have to use this shimmer. And that one's called Strobed Champagne. And I'm just gonna take my finger. Ooh. And we're gonna pop that on the lid. Very pretty. All right, so I am pretty pleased with the way that the shadows are working. All right, next I'm gonna jump into this color up here. It's called Iced Cotton, and it's kind of a pretty shimmery, almost like a pinkish cream color. I'm gonna take my Sigma E30 pencil brush, and we're just gonna use that as the brow highlight. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Very pretty color. That would have been pretty on the lid as well. We're gonna use that also for the inner corner. I'm gonna take my other pencil brush. And I'm gonna go back into that brown color that we used, the soft bronze. We're gonna go on the lower lid. So I feel like the eyeshadow works really good. If you're someone that likes more of a natural eye look, then you would really like this palette because there's not very many like bright colors or fun colors. It's kind of more of just a very pretty natural look. I mean, you could definitely do some really pretty like bold smoky eyes and 
lamb and things like that. But as far as color goes, there's not much color. It's more just neutrals. So next we're going to try out the liquid liner. How did I get eyeshadow all over me? What in the world? Do y'all see this? What happened? I'm a mess. Okay, this is what it looks like. It doesn't have a color, so I'm pretty sure the only color they had was black. Typically, this kind of scares me. These little wands that are like super, like it's like you're painting it on pretty much. Let's see how it works. Okay, so it works really well. I'm just not a fan of the, the applicator. Okay, let's go to the other eye. Okay, so the liner's done. So next is their mascara, and it comes with a primer and a mascara in the tube. So this end is a primer. As you can see, it's like a white primer for your lashes. And then on the other end is the, ooh, very confusing, hold on. Okay, so they all open the same direction. So on the other end is the mascara. Now, if y'all have watched my other videos, you know I'm not really a fan of this type of like silicone brush. I like more of the big, fat, fluffy mascara wand. Um, but we'll see how it works. First, we're going to go in with the primer. In my eye. So far I can't really tell that the primer has done anything, but we'll see. Let's go in with the mascara. Okay, second coat. Okay, so I gave it an honest, honest attempt here. I tried to do two coats like I normally do with my other mascaras. It's nice, it works good. Is it my favorite? No. If you want a mascara that has good for you ingredients, it works good. So, I don't hate it, I don't love it. Next, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the face with the hydration mist again. Then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. Oh, my mouth was open. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm going to go into this lighter shade, the Midnight Reflection in the Luminizing Glow Powder. And we're going to try that out. We're going to dust that. Okay. So it's a very subtle kind of highlight. It's not like woo, very natural, very pretty. If you're someone with fairer skin, this might work a little better. I almost feel like on me, I'm getting a white cast here. But overall, it's pretty. Okay, so last step is the lip. This is one that I have had and I have tried. It's the Lip Crayon and mine is in the shade Blossom. This is what it looks like, and it rolls up on the bottom, which is nice. Um, has kind of a berry scent almost. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but it smells almost like a baby doll or like a Barbie. Like it's got that... Um, what is that material? Rubber, but it doesn't smell like rubber. It's like baby doll rubber. I don't know, but I like it. It smells fruity mixed with like a baby doll smell and I really like it. So anyways, we have that one. And then this one is one that I ordered and it is the liquid lipstick. And mine is in the shade Off Duty. These are kind of similar in color, um, which I didn't realize I was getting such a similar color. But let's open this up. Come on. Come on. Ah, 
See, not as satisfying when it doesn't come off in one strip. Oh man, you're gonna really aggravate me. <laughs> and then you're gonna do this to me. You're gonna do this to me. You're gonna play like that. Oh my gosh, infuriating. No, I'm not gonna use you till the plastic is off. <laughs> Again with the peeling. Yes. Okay, it's all off. So, this one doesn't smell good. It doesn't really have a smell at all. But this is the color. There's this one. So, I'll go in with this one first. Just so you can see it. Okay, very pretty. And then I'll go in with this one on top. Yeah, those colors are almost identical. Feels very good. It's a very pretty color. I like it. I'm going to spray one more time. Okay, so this is the finished look. Overall, I love it. I feel like it's natural. The only thing is that I really didn't like. I'm not a fan of the brows. I feel like I have really sad brows right now. Um, they don't look as bad now that the rest of the face is done, but... Up close, you can kind of see some patchiness and it just wasn't the right color or consistency for me personally. Everything else I think I really liked with the exception of the cream foundation. It was patchy just for my skin type, maybe too dry, I don't know, but the texture just was not working with my skin. I like the highlighter. I just feel like on me, it's a little too light, like it leaves a a white almost like powdery cast loved the bronzer the blush was gorgeous i think setting powder was amazing like that stuff worked so good as far as the eyeliner goes not a fan of the application but i think it turned out pretty and actually kind of mattified really good so i like i like a a good matte liner not a shiny liner the lip love both products that is such a pretty color. I'm gonna have to use that color more often. It makes your teeth look whiter. Yes. Yes, white teeth. And then as far as the serum and the hydration spray, love these. I'm gonna spray this one again. Oh yes, it feels so good. Overall, I really like the products and if you're looking for a makeup brand that is kind of more for sensitive skin and uses more natural ingredients, I would definitely give them a try. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. If you've used Honest Beauty before and you have any more info or tips or tricks, um, comment below and let me know. And thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.